So I'm a little late to the story, but I guess I'll jump in, right? We saw Sinclair Broadcasting Group, right? They got caught uh, broadcasting the same, uh, you know, reading from the teleprompter, broadcasting the same uh, script propaganda, right? You saw that? It's all over. I, look, you Google it. Sinclair Broadcasting Group, uh, and you'll, you know, the propaganda. And you'll see them. I don't know who put it together, but it was, uh, it's quite brilliant and it catches Sinclair Broadcasting Group. 100, they own 173 television stations. They're broadcasting in 100, they own. Right? I have to stick in the teleprompter. That means that the, the commentators are not, they're not doing what I'm doing. They're not, they're not giving you news. They're giving you the, the talking points. So is it a bad thing? I don't know. Let's find out. Right. So what did they say? Let's look at what they said first. I tried to write it down. Again, Google, uh, YouTube the, the clip if you want to watch it. And, um, and then, you know, comment about it because I'm, I'm still interested. But this is what they said. I'm paraphrasing. Our greatest responsibility is to serve our communities. Right? They all said it. Hundreds, hundreds of commentators are caught saying that. Right? It's a good thing, right? Serve your community. How are you serving your community? We are extremely proud of the quality, balanced journalism that we produce. We is the station. You switch we out for their, the station that... See, that I want to stop right there because there's the illusion that that all people are coming to the same conclusion at once. Right, that look all the news, you know, because I get I, I see this this problem in in um in society, <laughs> walking around a lot. That people say, well, how could CNN and MSNBC and all everybody on TV and all the papers all saying the same thing? Russia, Russia, Russia. Because look, this is this is here's your evidence, right? Sinclair owns 173 stations, and they standardize and homogenize and formularize the pitch that they that they put out. Why? Because it's a, it's a business, right? Are they within their rights to do it? Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're within their rights. It's a business. It's oligarchy. That's the problem. Are they allowed to do it? Is it illegal? Yeah, it is. So we'll talk more about that in a minute. So they're extremely proud of the quality balanced journalism that they produce. It's not balanced, right? But, <laughs> there's all a saying, everything after but is bullshit. <laughs> so here comes the but. Right? But we are concerned about unbalanced news sources plaguing our country. <laughs> the sharing of biased and false news has become all too common on social media. More alarming, some media outlets publish the same fake stories without checking the facts. So here's the, you know, the, the, the pot calling the kettle black, right? It's... They're doing, they're calling out social media, the individuals, people like me, people like some of the people that I plug on the station, on this channel, right? They're calling us the problem, right? That, that, that we don't, look, it, it, it's, it's, it's just a ridiculous, it's just a ridiculous idea. You don't, first of all, they don't own the facts, Right? Right? They don't know the facts. And they're not, they're not giving any, anything specific. See, it's, it's propaganda. It's, it's cold reading. Right? When you listen to it, oh yeah, fake stories without checking facts. What stories and what facts? Right? See, so it, it's designed to, to, to get the low information people to say, yeah, sure, fake story. They don't check the facts. Yeah, oh, you, you're here. I got the facts. I'm watching TV, right? They got nice suits on. They talk nice. They 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 know all about it. They they they're from our community, not from Washington, right? But they don't fail. They fail to look at the fact that the company is owned, you know, by a, 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 an oligarchical, you know, by a giant company that owns all these companies, and they try to standardize like McDonald's, make all the hamburgers taste the same, right? So without checking facts, they publish their own personal biases. To control their agenda. <laughs> I mean, that's precisely what CNN, MSNBC, the, the network, the you know cable networks do. That's precisely what Sinclair is doing. And then, there's, if you watch it, you'll see the end of it where they say, this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. And they keep, you, you see like 150 different guys saying the same, same stupid line. Right. 
My name is Marcus Conti. I'm an investigative journalist, YouTube blogger, musician. Uh, some jerk-off musician has to give you the news. <laughs> That's what we've come to. All right. So I watched. So I again, I'm late to the party, but but not really because I had a chance to watch what the indie news people are saying. And I and I'll give you one example. I watched Tank Hugo of the Young Turks. Not because I was watching the Young Turks. I haven't watched it in over a year and a half, two years. Right? But I watched it because he covered this particular Sinclair thing, and he's an interesting character uh, to look at for an opinion on this because he's he's the same as them. He became CNN and MSNBC. See, it's a power grab, right? So what does Chank do? Chank says, "Yes, this is wrong. This is propaganda." But then he turns around and says, "It's a right wing conspiracy, and it's and they, they're supporting the Trump agenda." No, it's not a fucking conspiracy theory from the right. There no longer is a right and a left. There's the 99%, all of us, and there's the 1% that are calling the shots. Right? That's not right and left. It's upper and lower class. It's not Democrat, Republican. It's oligarchy versus, you know, the people. First Amendment. Right? Right? So to say that, you know, and then Chen goes on to, 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 to pair Sinclair Broadcasting with, with uh, the Nazis. <laughs> it's Nazi propaganda. The Nazis used it, yes, but it's legal in our country to do what they're doing. They're exercising, Sinclair Broadcasting Group is exercising their First Amendment right of free speech, freedom of the press, Right? They're within their rights to do it, just like I'm within my rights to do, do what I'm doing, right? We're all within our rights to, to declare ourselves press and speak up, right? We're all within our rights to do that. But Cenk wants to paint it because it, it doesn't support his ideology of what the left is supposed to be. You're supposed to be angry at Trump. You're supposed to hate fucking Trump. You're supposed to hate him. You hate oh, the right wing, the right wing. You got to hate him. Vote for our guy. You know, vote for the Democrat, vote for the Democrat, Justice Democrat. It's, he's, a, he's, a, he's, he's becoming a cartoon character of himself, right? A cartooniture. Right? First Amendment is First Amendment, right? The problem is economic in income and wealth inequality. The problem is oligarchy. The problem stems not from the corporations that game the system, like Sinclair Broadcasting Group does and buys up all the all the buys up all the, the the networks and buys the TV channels like they're allowed to do, right? They're allowed to do it, right? They're allowed to do it because the laws have changed. Now here's the problem, right? Again, it's the corrupt politicians, right? Why are they allowed to do it? It should have been monopoly. It should have been duopoly. All of these things that that are already laws that were in place to prevent something like this from happening. What do they do? They get a whole lot of money. Once Sinclair gets the money, they go to they send four lawyers to DC. Right, and they they go to the, they go they they, they 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 stroke them and wine and dine them and give them money, buy them a house, right? Because it's nothing to them to throw out a million, two million to get a law change where they can buy up all of the TV stations across the country, creating the the illusion that see what, what we're saying is that everybody's saying it. We're not just saying it. it's not me. It's everybody. Look, see everybody. Meanwhile, they they own it and they're controlling the narrative, right? So then when an election rolls around, they could get all their pay-for-play politicians in place and keep everything just the way it is, right? Keep you ignorant, keep them rich. That's what we're up against, right? So, I, I, I mean, I want to jump on the bandwagon. I want to say, oh, fucking Sinclair, oh, we caught you. But the reality is, yeah, you did catch them. So? Now what? You caught them. Oh, great, you caught them. You think they're going to, you think one line of their policy is going to change? Hell no. Nothing changes. They'll wait till the the little stir up on, on, on internet, on the internet calms down a little bit. And they'll just go right back to doing what they're doing. Accusing the independent media, the people on social media. <laughs> and they'll, they'll continue to vilify social media because social media is telling the truth, which is in direct con. con is in direct conflict to what they're promoting, which is Trump is bad, Trump is in bed with Russia, that, that there's a trade war with China. 
No. The markets are going to correct because there's enough people are not watching your stupid channels, right? And you guys are in trouble because, you, you know, the markets are way inflated. You're seeing we already Dow and NASDAQ, not to get into that too deep, but uh, already closed below the 200-day moving average. So you're, you're technically now, that's a, it's almost a confirmed reversal in the markets. The stock markets, the major indexes that, the answers are always in the stock market. You follow the money. That's, that's how you know. That's how you know there's a turning point. Watch the market. Reversal at the top. Now, once there's a confirmed re reversal, things will come down and continue to go down until there's a reversal at the bottom and it goes back up. So, and to our Q fans, right? Q. Right? This is what Q is trying to tell you. Right? The mysterious Q. Maybe I'm Q. Maybe so who? Maybe I know Q. Maybe Q talks to me. Psst. Oh, he's got, I got an insight. Inside, you know, uh, uh, Q. Q, tell me what's going on. Right? Maybe I'm Q. Maybe you're Q. Maybe we're all Q. Right? Is that Q is telling you these things. Right? That there is there's oligarchy. There's corruption in politics. That they take the money. They pay off the judges. They pay off the politicians to keep the oligarchy in place. Sinclair. Again, here's your example. You want to blame... It's a right wing conspiracy. What right wing? Where? Who? The, 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 it's the same. It's the same. You know, one percent oligarchs that all the corporations they love it. They love it. Oh fucking yeah, man! Hey, buy some TV stations. Damn, fuck. Got some, how many? How many you got? I got. I got. I got a hundred. How many you got? Oh, you got forty. I buy you forty. Give me. I have a one. I have one seventy. It's like it's fucking. It's like a. It's like a monopoly game when they got all the part pieces. You got to stop it. It's oligarchy. That's the that it's an economic problem, right? So all the politicians and all the democratic politicians, I was following around. What's the face? The fucking governor, the lady running for governor in New York. I have no memory. I don't even remember what I said yesterday. <laughs> uh, the the Sex in the City fucking Miranda chick running for governor in New York, right? Ooh. Well, so you know she's for income and wealth inequality. She's talking about public schools and. And, and, and lesbian issues and gay issues and, and minorities and everybody should be one happy family. And this is going to solve the problem. Right? See, social issues, it's not a social, it's not a social problem. It's a 1% problem. It's an oligarch, it's a, it's a, it's a corporate problem. It's oligarchy. Right? That is the problem. I get a lot of strange people popping into my frame lately. I don't know what that is. If I look that weird, I don't. I don't. I, I stopped realizing it. Maybe because I'm. Maybe because I'm focused. I'm so focused. What's this guy doing? He's so focused. <laughs> this fucking guy. He drove up on the sidewalk. I mean, that's the only time I'll, I'll, you know, bring someone into the frame is when they pop into the frame. You know. So anyway, my name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist, YouTube blogger. Maybe I'm cute. I don't know. Maybe I'm CIA. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm FBI. Maybe, I'm, maybe I am still in, embedded. Maybe I was embedded. You don't know. Nobody knows, right? But all I know is that I'm, I'm an independent guy, and I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to funnel the truth. And I, 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 uh, I enjoy this work. Thank you for letting me share.